Hello my dear students, so today we will study about the bioethics, biopatent and biopiracy. The last topic of this chapter, biotechnology. Okay, now bioethics. <coughs> it includes rules of conduct that may be used to regulate our activities in relation to the biological world. The main bioethical concern pertaining to biotechnology are briefly mentioned as follows. So point wise I am giving you the information related to bioethics. Right? Now the main bioethical concerns. First introduction of a transgene from one species to another species violates the integrity of species. Next, biotechnology may pose unforeseen risk to the environment, including risk to biodiversity. Next, transfer of human gene into animals and vice versa dilutes the concept of humanness. When animals are used for the production of pharmaceutical proteins, they are virtually reduced to the status of a factory. Use of animals in biotechnology causes great suffering to them. It is disrespectful to living beings and only exploit them for the benefit of human beings. <coughs> Scientists cannot rule out the possibility of other biological damage. All these aspects indicate that biotechnology is focused on exploiting the biological world. So therefore, we have to decide which activities are ethical and which are not. So these are the important points that comes under the bioethics. Now to the next topic, biopatent. Now what is this? A biological patent is a patent on an invention in the field of biology that by law allows the patent holder to exclude others from making, using, selling or importing the products, invention, protected inventions for a limited period of time. So only the patent holder will use all these facilities, not the others. So this law helps the patent holder to exclude others from all these making, using, selling or importing. Now, <coughs> patents have been taken out on plants such as, few examples are there, such as basmati rice, botanical name is Oleza sativa, then Indian mustard, Brassica campestris, pomegranate, Punica granatum and neem, Azardica indica. So these are the examples of the plants where the patent have been taken. Okay, now the next topic is biopiracy. Some, organization, uh, some organizations and multinational companies exploit or patent biological resources or bioresources of other nations without proper authorization from the countries concerned and this is called as biopiracy. Now here example, one example I will give you that is related to the basmati rice. Here basmati rice is an indigenous crop of India. Okay. But it was patented by an American company Rice Tech in 1997. So this is the example of biopiracy. How they do? So this is the last topic. So we have finished bioethics, biopatent and biopiracy. Thank you.